<laughs> Hello and welcome back. It is another amazing ripple making day and I have the incredible, the one and only life liberator, Miss Ruth Driscoll in the house. Ruth, thank you for dropping in with us today. Oh, it's such a pleasure. Thank you so much for asking me, Sammy. It's always oh. wonderful to catch up with you anyway. <laughs> and it's been too flipping long. Now, guys and girls, I've known Ruth for maybe 12, 13, maybe even more years. And I've watched the amazing ripple maker that you see before you change the lives of many thousands of people with the audiences that she touches, with the message she has in her heart. And hopefully that message is going to speak to you today. Ruth, for those that don't know you, please tell us like who you are, what you're doing. And why do you care so much about doing it? Okay, so uh, yes, my business is The Life Liberator. And um, the reason that I um, have called it that is because um, the work that I do is leading those who are in controlling, manipulative, abusive, toxic relationships, leading them out of that place and into a place of empowerment and freedom, which means that they've got their lives back. They're not half living their lives. They, they've got full choice and full control over what happens to them. Yeah, and I love the work you're doing. It's so needed, so valuable in the world. And that Badly, it come yes. through you just kind of, oh, this is what I'll do today. You actually worked in one of the most, if not the most challenging high school in the UK, which really gave you many of the skills that you're using today. Tell us a little bit about your history there. Yeah, so so my background is actually in education. Um, and um, so I was the head teacher of um, an inner city primary school, which was um, a, a challenging environment, you know, lowest 5% of socioeconomic deprivation, which means a very needy community, very multicultural, diverse community. But the school was set on um, an estate where there were a lot of social problems. There were there were gangs on that estate. There were knives. There were guns. There were dogs. You know, dog fight kind of things. Um, so a, a very challenging environment in which to bring up children. Um, and so a, a lot of the the work that I did there was supporting those families in in understanding. You know how they could make. Um, the sort of choices around their behaviours, their their um, reactions to things that would actually help them to be in a more powerful place. But I didn't realise how valuable knowing and doing that was going to be for me, because um, in a in a seeming sort of dichotomy at the time that um, this was, I I was in this role as head teacher. I myself was also in a controlling, manipulative relationship. Um, and so it was um, when I um, I finally uh, managed to get him out, I chucked him out. <laughs> um, but I, I did sort of suffer very badly with my health as a result of that. You know, we know what stress and strain does to our bodies. And I was already working in a, in a very stressful, though very rewarding occupation. Well, you ended um, up in hospital, didn't you? I did. I did. And uh, it, it literally was that sort of, oh, my God, you know, yeah. is, this, yeah. is this it? So I had to have a kind of a radical rethink. And so it was as uh, and as a result of that, I, I had to resign from my position as head teacher because they wouldn't pass me medically to go back. Um, and so um, it was as I was thinking, well, how am I going to earn my living? And I did have a qualification in life coaching and thought, well, I'll use that. And um, and then I thought, well, I need to find out how to run a business. So I joined a mastermind group and I learned that, you know, you had to have a niche. That was the best way to run a, a life uh, coaching business. And uh, so I was thinking, oh, what could I do? I could do parenting. I could do um, confidence. I could do leadership. I could do learning development. But the people in the mastermind, they went, no, 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 no. You need to do what it was you went through. Mm. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way I'm going to do that. There's no way I want to go back to that. I don't even want to remember it happened to me. I'm ashamed that it happened to me. But that that was, you know, when somebody drops that idea in and then it starts to sort of filter through and you think, do you know what? They are right. Um, because although 
of one of the things that you go through when you're in um, an abusive relationship is that that shame and not wanting to talk about it, which is part of the problem, you know, <laughs> me yeah. too and all that. Um, it, 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 I realised that because of the professional experience I had and the personal experience I had, it was like, this is where my ripple is meant to come from. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yes. And, and you've been on a real journey uh, to, wow. to take that ripple out to the world. And, um, yeah. uh, you know, and it was just such an honor to have you be part of Brand Builders Club and oh, really yeah. create the life liberator and get out. Yes, there it was start. thanks to you I got that name, Sammy. <laughs> that was your genius there. <laughs> oh, but you really have taken that and your brand promise is the, because that's the beautiful thing, isn't it? About having a fame name is that's your brand promise it's what you yes. live up to it's the standard that you set for your company it's the standard you set as a result of yeah. every conversation you have every time you open your mouth the result is liberating lives and so for you to go in that direction you've you've done so well Ruth and I'm going to dig in um, in a moment to what we can do to help you to get that message out in an even bigger way but before we do do you have a ripple making tip for us today on how we can make an even bigger impact in the lives that we touch Yes, um, one of the um, principles that totally underpins my my the whole um, vision and mission behind my company, and I learned this from you as well, Sammy. Um, it's about respect. It's about um, whatever you do, do it with grace, do it with dignity, because when you are the model of the behavior that you expect from others. That makes you such a strong person. When you know what your values are, you know what you stand for, you can't be knocked over. So it's getting back in touch with that and, and realizing even if that other person is being absolutely beastly, you stay in congruence with your values. So really the tip is you just treat people the way you would like to be treated yourself. You know, it's 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 an old um, philosophy the do as you would be done by. But that's the way it works. That's the way it works. If you yeah. go into their territory and start fighting uh, in the way that they are, you won't succeed. So you've got yeah. to hold on to your dignity, your truth, your congruence. Mm, I love that. That's so gorgeous. And it brings you back to the golden thread of who you are. Yeah. I love that, Ruth. Thank you for your tip. Well, how can we help you? Are you looking for speaking opportunities, collaborations? What are you looking for? What can we keep our ears and eyes open for for you? Yes. Well, um, I'm always um, open for a speaking opportunity because, um, as I've said, you know, when when you're going through this, you feel ashamed. You you want to hide. You want to forget that it happened to you. But of course, that's not the way that you overcome it. Um, and you can also feel in such a place of a powerlessness um, that it's just, you know. So for me, visibility, just getting that message out there. And the more I can speak on a stage, I, I can touch people who perhaps have, you know, sort of buried the fact that this has happened. And it's not just necessarily your personal partner. It can be these these sort of uh, toxic situations can occur in all areas of your life, in the workplace, at home with parents or, or siblings, even in your friendship group, sadly. So it's just really sort of um, letting people know you don't have to put up with those people who break your your boundaries. I call them boundary mm -hmm. bashes. Boundary bashers. About it, they're boundary <laughs> bashers. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a hashtag boundary bashers if you've ever met a boundary basher. <laughs> I'm sure, you've met one or two. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So it's it is uh, for me. It is that visibility. So and also, you know, if um, there's anyone who has um, uh, an, an offering that that feels like it's in synergy with what I'm doing always willing to um to hear and talk and discuss you know perhaps if you're in the legal profession and these people kind of come your way and you don't know where to send them really and in fact i'm you know i've just had um, this week an opportunity come up to um to put a, a pitch towards the the charity refuge you know for so yeah so i'm going to be working on that over the weekend and phenomenal oh my gosh yeah. and no one deserves it more than you ruth this is brilliant the movement oh. you're making guys and girls uh if you are in the one drop movement group which if you're watching this interview and you're not in the one drop movement group go join it and i'll uh, i'll accept you in so you can start networking and collaborating with our other members and when you're in the group click on members go and find ruth you can connect with ruth there and ruth you've already given me your email address as well so i'll put that with the description of this video and 
and um, and guys and girls connect with Ruth, connect, collaborate and champion the work that Ruth is doing. Let's help her to get her message out and her voice out yeah. to more of the women who really need it. And if you're indeed in the same sort of industry as Ruth, make sure you connect. There could be some brilliant collaboration opportunities. Remember, Ruth is one drop. You are one drop. But together, imagine the ocean of opportunity that you can create. Imagine how much louder your voices will be when you amplify it through collaboration. Ruth, I love you so much. Thank you for dropping in with us Thank today. So it's been so gorgeous to see your lovely face showing up on our screens again. And we'll look forward to following the rest of your journey. And guys and girls, we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place with your next Ripple Maker Spotlight. And if you haven't booked your asset onto this amazing spotlight opportunity, then uh, click on the link with this video, book your session in, and I'll look forward to helping you share your voice with our global community. So take care, have an amazing day. Keep rippling, doing that thing that only you can do. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next session. Lots of love. Bye-bye.